So if you'll join me in prayer, and then after that, you can take of the communion. Father, as we come before you, we celebrate Christ's death. We celebrate his resurrection. We celebrate his return. For Jesus said, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. And Paul wrote the Corinthians and told them to remember the Lord's death until he comes. And certainly we look forward to that glorious day. In Jesus' name. second utterance comes in verse 42. And the thief was saying, Jesus, remember me when you come in your kingdom. And he said to him, truly I say to you, today you shall be with me in paradise. His third entrance. When Jesus saw, saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to his disciple, Behold your mother. That's found in John 19, 26, and 27. The fourth utterance. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matthew 27, 46. The fifth utterance after this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said, to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. come to my position to do something which every preacher does and doesn't always like to do. It's ask for money. <laughs> uh, the, the, the worst thing that ever happened to me was I was at a church in Caldwell, Kansas, and we had a congregation of almost 200 people place was packed, people were standing in the hall, and they wouldn't let me take an offering. It was not expected. But today it is. We are uh, asking for funds to help us take care of things that are coming up. And there are things that are coming in soon, I believe. We help people who are in need with utilities, Rent sometimes, sometimes to help 
do uh, other things. We bought people medicine. We helped with gasoline for people who were driving through town. We provided a motel room for a night for people who needed. We've done all sorts of things. Once in a while, we even have provided transportation out of town for people who needed to go on someplace else. These funds are vitally important and the only place we get our funds is for events like this. So uh, are we doing a, how are we doing that? There are offering plates in the back. When you leave tonight, just place the funds there and I will appreciate it. We all appreciate it. By the way, I think this is the largest ministerial alliance we've had in years. And I praise God for that. Yeah. Go 
We have, we have 30 more minutes in our regular service, so. But I, but I promised them that I would only pray for 15, so you're, yeah. Let's pray as we're dismissed. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for bringing us together in Christ, in this place, to lift you up. God, it's not a small thing that brothers and sisters would leave their buildings and come together and lift up the name of Jesus that's above every name. Something special has taken place tonight. God, we thank you that your love is present in the midst of our fellowship. God, as we're dismissed tonight, my prayer is that we would carry that same love that you have shed abroad in our hearts and that we would boldly share it with those in desperate need of it. God, I pray for each person that's here tonight, a blessing upon them. I pray that you would use them to reveal Christ to their neighbor and their co-worker and their family. God, I pray for the churches that are represented and those that are not. And God, I ask you, God, let the gospel go forth in power from this day forward like never before so that the hope of the gospel of Jesus Christ can invade our city like never before. God, I pray that you would anoint our pastors in the Odisha with boldness and with power to declare the marvelous mysteries of the glorious gospel of our God in anointing and power that would cut to the heart. Father God, you have chosen the foolishness of preaching to save the lost. God, I pray that we would all become fools for Christ's sake and that we would abandon ourselves to the call of God and Father God, that your spirit would draw men unto Christ and that we would be faithful in our calling, Lord God, to steward what you've called us to do. I thank you for this people. Ask your blessing upon us as we're dismissed in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.